Welcome back. We have a change of scenery for you guys. We are on our way to Jellystone in Kerrville, Texas for our last camping trip of the season. Sorry, it's a little bouncy here. See, we got our camper back there. And we wanted to take you along for the ride. So we will give you a camper tour and uh, show you some of the fun things that we got to do. Let's get started. Everybody's out riding bikes, fishing, doing what they do. Mama's home drinking coffee and I thought, it's quiet. I have the place to myself. So let's give you that tour. All right, we're gonna begin the tour outside. This is our outdoor space. Most campgrounds do give you a little more wiggle room, but we made it work. This outdoor mat has been such a game changer with mud and dirt. You can find them at Walmart for inexpensive. Here's the outside of our camper if you're curious. This is a Forest River Wildwood Extra Light. As you go up and look to your right, here is the queen size master bedroom suite with two closets here and two side tables. This camper sleeps up to 10 people. This couch is where Eric happens to sleep. It folds down to a full size bed. He likes to be close to us. Here we have at the dining room. This also converts to a bed, however, we rarely do that. I also brought my Ninja Foodie. If you do not know what this is, I highly recommend looking it up. It's an air fryer, pressure cooker, slow cooker, basically all in one. It has pretty much replaced my kitchen. Here's some storage where we keep bug spray, towels, extra linens, the girls' bunk bed. Ella sleeps on the bottom, Grace sleeps on the top. They are full-size bed, and I just use full-size bedding from Walmart. Our little vanity area. I keep toiletry items down below the sink. And let me show you our luxurious bathroom. You have just enough room to turn around, but not an inch more. As we go back out, I will show you our cabinets above the sink. There's our pantry and our appliance cabinet where I keep the coffee maker and kettle and such. This cabinet, we keep everything that stays in the camper just to make packing easy. So it's like our paper products, our cookware, coffee filter, stuff that we don't want to be taking in and out just for camping. Down below, you'll see our utensils, our utility drawer with my melted oven mitt. Yes, I replaced that. And I didn't open the cabinet to the right, but there is a cleaning cabinet there underneath the sink. So this is what I call my happy place. So I love quiet mornings out here. The kids usually like to get right on their bike. Steven is a morning person, so he just takes off with them and I usually just get to chill and enjoy my morning here and it's a very slow easy life style and I'm so glad we did it especially with the pandemic because it allows us to kind of escape safely I will try and insert some clips of our vacation so you can kind of see the fun Pizzas were a success. Only one injury so far for the camping trip. <laughs> anyway, here's what they look like. This is on Nan bread, which is pizza sauce from Walmart and mozzarella cheese from Walmart.
we had unwanted guests in our cabinets. So we are in the process of cleaning that up and trying to figure out how we can prevent that. Our storage unit is in the middle of the country, so it's probably a little field mouse that's trying to find a warm spot to sleep, but he got into all of our toilet paper, tore it up, peed, pooped all over it, got into our cleaning cabinet, thankfully did not get into our little pantry cabinet. That's up here is where we keep our food and stuff. Thankfully, he did not get into that, or she. <sighs> but, the joys of camper life. Anyway, we had such a blast. It's always great to get out in the camper. It always seems stressful at first when you're trying to get going, but then once you're here, and you're relaxing, and you're in nature, and you're just spending time as a family, nothing better. Grace needs a camper hair don't care hat. Right, Grace? <laughs> I, I think I need a camping hair, don't care hat too. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? When we used our nets to catch the minnows. Yeah, so <laughs> they have the river and they went fishing. And then we used, uh, so basically what we did was uh, we got these little nets and they're not that big, but we caught like a hundred minnows, it was crazy. <laughs> Yeah. And um, we played on a big jump pillow, and I think that was pretty fun too. Do we need to mm -hmm. see this? Daddy, I know what your least favorite part of the trip was <laughs> cleaning up mice, pee, and poop. What was your favorite part? Fire. Fire. Oh, I have another thing. Um, we also put the projector up and watched Playing With Fire. Yeah, our newest addition is a little projector that we can set up and watch movies on. Anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed day and y'all say something kind to yourself. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.